بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر سٹورن and welcome to the immunology course 2 course code is MIC212 lecture 1 and today I will teach you about the immune system my name is Dr. Tajili Khan assistant professor in the department of microbiology Kohat University of Science and Technology the outline of today lecture will be introduction to the immune system types of the immune system uh, this include innate and adaptive immunity types of adaptive immunity property of adaptive immune responses cell and tissue of the immune system overview of immune responses to microbes dear student if we look at this slide in daily life we are exposed to different external threat such as viruses the prominent example is SARS coronavirus 2 which is pandemic and cause million of deaths similarly we are also exposed to fungi the best example is candida albicane and we are also exposed to different bacteria such as mycobacterium tuberculosis and E. coli Similarly, uh, we are also exposing to different parasites such as malarial parasite as well as leishmaniasis. Inside our body, there is a defense mechanism that is called immune system, uh, which uh, protect us against such kind of the infectious microbes. Introduction. Before going to discuss the today uh, lecture. Uh, we will uh, define certain terms such as immunity immunity is resistant to disease specifically to infectious disease cell tissue and molecule that constitute the immune system and provide this immunity immune response the coordinated reaction of these cells and molecule to infectious microbe is called immune response while the study of the immune system is called immunology. Two basic functions performed by the immune system to prevent infection and to eradicate infection. The immune system consists of innate and adaptive immunity. Innate immunity consists of first line of defense which includes skin while second line of defense which include dendritic cell macrophages uh, if innate immunity fail to control the infection and the pathogen breach innate immunity there is another line of defense that is called third line of defense or adaptive immunity which consists of t lymphocyte and b lymphocyte these lymphocytes generate in bone marrow uh, Interestingly, uh, B lymphocyte generate and mature in bone marrow, while T lymphocyte after generation move to the thymus where these lymphocytes are maturated. After maturation, uh, B and T lymphocytes are deployed to different, different part of the body uh, where they interact to the antigen and eliminate the antigen. Principal mechanism of innate and adaptive immunity. Toward the left side, innate immunity. What happens when the microbes interact the epithelial barrier? It provides the first uh, principal mechanism of the innate immunity. And if this epithelial barriers fail to prevent the infection uh, and breach this epithelial layer, there are immune cells that is called innate immune cell such as phagocytic cell, dendritic cell, NK cell and complement which eliminate the microbes. The innate immunity usually take place in hours. Toward the right side adaptive immunity consists of B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte. B lymphocyte secrete the, the antibody which block the microbes and eliminate the microbes and this immunity is usually to the extracellular microbes. T lymphocyte provide immunity to intracellular uh, microbes and eliminate the intracellular microbes. 
and this immunity usually take place days to develop. In the previous lecture, I already discussed in very detail the innate immunity. However, here I will discuss very briefly the important component of the innate immunity. Uh, innate immunity consists of different barriers such as anatomic barrier, physio physiological barrier, phagocytic barrier, and inflammatory barrier. All these barriers prevent the infection and constitute important component of the innate immunity. Two types of the adaptive immunity. Humoral immunity, cell-mediated immunity. What happened? If microbes, that, such as extracellular microbes, come and interact with the B cells, uh, they secreted antibody and this antibody block the infection and eliminate the extracellular microbes. While cell immunity, immunity is provided by helper T cell and cytotoxic T cells. Uh, both these cells uh, eliminate the intracellular pathogen. There are certain property of adaptive immune response. Number one, specificity. Second, diversity. Third, immune. Third, immune memory. Fourth, clonal infection. Fifth, specialization. Sixth, contraction and hemostasis. Seven, non-reactivity to self-antigen. If we look to this slide or figure, uh, here we can see that naive B cells, when interact to the X antigen, naive B cells are those cells which yet didn't expose to any antigen. When it interact to this X antigen, it induced the antibody and that's called as the primary immune response to X antigen. And the Similar way, they also generated clone of memory B cells against this uh, antigen. Uh, what happened when X antigen and Y antigen again uh, encountered by uh, the B lymphocytes, the response in case to the X antigen is more faster, rapid, and heightened as compared to the Y antigen. It is because of the memory cell that were already generated specifically to the X antigens. If we look to this figure, actually lymphocytes generated in the primary lymphoid organs, uh, they are equip equipped with specific receptor for the specific antigen. In this case, like for instance, X and Y antigen, X antigen usually select this type of the cells, while Y antigen select this type of the cell and after this selection the lymphocyte differentiate and generate into a clone of lymphocyte with identical specificity for each respective X and Y antigen and in the future if the same antigens encountered by the uh, lymphocyte they will uh, these memory cells or these clone of cell will respond uh, respectively to X antigen and Y antigen only. Phases of, phases of adaptive immune responses. First phase is antigen recognition. Here we can see that now T lymphocyte and now B lymphocyte when in interact, as I have mentioned, they cause the clonal infections and clonal infection lead to differentiation into the effector cells. And these after lymphocyte activations, uh, these effector cells uh, eliminate the antigen and this phase is called antigen elimination. After antigen em elimination, the final stage is the immune system come to the normal state that is called a hemostasis. And in this case, the lymphocyte dies automatically by a process that is called apoptosis and parallel those cells who are survival these are the immune memory cells 
which in future when the same antigen uh, encountered by the immune system they will respond more rapidly and fast. Classes of lymphocytes. Classes of lymphocytes are B lymphocyte, helper T lymphocyte, cytotoxic T lymphocyte, regulatory T lymphocyte, natural killer cell. Natural killer cells are basically the cells of the innate immunity. B lymphocytes when interact with microbes they secreted antibody whose function is neutralization of microbes, phagocytosis, complement activations and similarly helper T lymphocyte when interact with the peptides displayed by antigen presenting cell they secreted certain protein called cytokine, cytokine activate macrophages cause inflammation uh, causing the activation uh, and differentiation of B and T lymphocytes. Cytotoxic cell when interact with the virus infected cell they kill the infected cells similarly regulatory t lymphocytes uh, suppress the immune responses uh, when it doesn't requires uh, natural killer cells uh, are the component of the are the cell of the innate immunity which also kill the infected cells maturation of lymphocyte b and t lymphocyte uh, maturation occur in the bone marrow and thymus respectively they are uh, deployed to the peripheral lymph node lymphoid nodes where they interact with the antigen once the antigen is eliminated they recirculate it to the blood and lymph node organ of the immune system uh, there are two types of organ immune system primary organs which include thymus and bone marrow we are the uh, in bone marrow the B and T lymphocytes uh, generated while the B uh, T lymphocyte after generation goes to the thymus uh, when these uh, lymphocytes are maturated they are deployed to the uh, different uh, organs they are called secondary organs such as lymph nodes, spleen, uh, spleen uh, lymph nodes uh, where they interact to the antigen and eliminate it cell of the immune system there are different cell of the immune system such as B lymphocyte T lymphocyte natural killer cells and they have different function such as B lymphocyte mediator of humoral immunity T lymphocyte mediator of cell mediated immunity while natural killer cell of the innate immunity antigen presenting cells such as uh, dendritic cell macrophages they are responsible for capture of antigen to display to lymphocyte uh, dendritic cells main function initiation of T cell responses Macrophages affected phase of cell mediated immunity. Affected cells are important for the elimination of antigens such as T cells, helper T cell, and cytotoxic T cell. Macrophages are monocyte cell of the mononuclear phagocytic system. Granulocytes such as neutrophil and eosinophil. All these cells are involved in the function of the immune system. Let's summarize uh, the today lecturers. What happened as I have mentioned that hematopoietic stem cells are generated in the bone marrow which uh, develop into two types of progenitor myelin progenitor as well as lymphoid progenitor. Myelin progenitor um, differentiate into different uh, innate immune cells such as macrophages, dendritic cells uh, which are important uh, cells of the innate immunity while the lymphoid progenitor differentiate in T cell and B cell which are important cell of the adaptive immunity. The main function of all these cells to fight infection. Uh, this is the basic summary of today's lecture. Here we can see on the upper on the top of the slide innate immunity where the part of the slide adaptive immunity and uh, here we can see physical barriers, cells, chemical barriers which interact with the adaptive immunity and adaptive immunity responds in the form of certain proteins such as antibody and cytokine and which augment the innate immunity and this highly coordination is very important for complete eradication of the infections. If there is any defect in any arm of the immunity either in the innate immunity or the in the adaptive immunity it may lead to the susceptibility and this is called uh, immunodeficiency.